Yeah, including this one. So that not was beautifully only... done just in time. Professional caster Austin Levista right Stop here. It. Smashville. Here we go. Here we go. Thank you guys for tuning in tonight here on House of 3000. I'm Zyvon, this is Osti, and this is Grand Finals between Venya and Jen. Palutena and Greninja here, starting off on Smashville. You know, some trying to apply some shield pressure with those forward airs, trying to drift away a little bit to just attack that shield at a safe distance so he can't get a grab. And Venya has so much momentum from that last set that Jen is like, wait, hold on, I'm not warmed up. Give me a second. My last set was like Ooh. an hour ago. <laughs> Let me breathe. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That, that's stuck. We did see a lot of that in the last set, one way or the other, really. Uh, Venya just so quick once he starts getting one or two conversions. Really keeps you in a bad situation. And he, he ends his combos in a way where you have to guess or else he'll just hit you again. Venya also being the last week's winner of, you know, taking double eliminating lights and just taking home. So he wants to try to win the second sure. one in a row. We have yet to have a double winner at Zeno. So Venya is definitely trying Who to play the first title. Uh, Sinji. Right. So it's Sinji, yeah. then Nixie, then Venya. This is the fourth one. So Jen's looking to be the new champion. Let's see if he can try to like do this, but right now, getting overlapped in percent. Venya looking for that kill confirm off of dash attack. It somehow made dash attack even better. That was already a pretty good move. It's, Down throw, it's... looking for the back air, not gonna find it. Almost hit by the near 40 right there, not quite gonna hit. Okay, now you'll notice that a lot that Jen's jumping at a shield. It's a pretty it's one of the strongest options in Ultimate compared to like the pass game instead of like going right. for like a roll or something. And uh, sometimes Venya's trying to capitalize on that. That was beautiful. That's what I've been looking for from Venya. I've been hoping he would do that on situations where someone's recovering the stage and they can drift one way or the other, because we saw him miss a couple of forward smashes. That time he runs up against the down smash. That was perfectly placed where it could cover every option. It was a masterpiece. Exactly. Couldn't have said it any better myself. A dash stack for forward air. Dude, Venya's looking for a three stock, honestly. There we go. Back throw's not going to kill at this percent. It, it almost close. did. It almost made me eat my own words, but... Jen looking for the up air. That doesn't really catch going back onto the stage, but it does catch right in that situation there where it's below the stage. And I notice that Venya's going to try to stay middle ground now because he's at the point where if he gets grabbed again, back throw will kill at the edge. So There's also something we were pointing out earlier uh, with Palutena. Uh, she's very strong at max range, like all the way across the stage. She's very strong at super close quarters. In between, there's a zone where she kind of struggles, and that's where Venya's going to really want to move around. Oh. He went for it. Thing, I don't... He's got three stocks to play with. I don't with. know if I agree with that one, but it's probably it's not going to cost fine. him. <laughs> like, you normally, I don't agree with any of his options because he's a nut, but like, yeah, three <laughs> stocks. It's fine. Let him let him have fun. He looks like he's having a really good time. Just like watching the way Greninja is moving around the screen here. Okay, neutral air going to combo into neutral air. is going to combo into neutral. Okay. It was back not quite. that time. With I, I, he was thinking, rage, he was thinking he three. Politan is neutral is a rule. Really good move, but not good enough to avoid that forward air. Uh, and a two-stock right there in game one from Venya. So Venya looking to be the back-to-back Xeno -back champion here. Uh, still in loser side, has to get the reset here, but it's off to a good start. So, yeah, like I said, one game away. Can he actually get this reset, or is Jen playing him? I mean, yeah, I, he's technically playing him right now. I, I get he, that. They are, in fact, playing yeah, each other, yes. But I, meant, no, I, I, I get what you mean. Okay. I got, I got you. I redact yeah. that statement. Here we go. Game two. <laughs> Going straight back to Smashville. We're going back to Smashville. Honestly, I don't think they even banned anything. I think they're just like, let's just go back. They like the stage. They missed it. Ooh, try to go for that grab. I, I don't believe anyone can shield grab Greninja's Nair. Uh, I've seen a lot of people go for it tonight. I've seen everyone fail. It's I mean, so. it's a safe aerial attack. It's safe yeah. on shield. You shouldn't be going for it. And Jen also with shield grabs specifically being nerfed now compared to Smash Four. Yeah, certainly not something you want to see. You want to go for it if too you often. whiff that, like you're gonna get you're gonna eat something. Okay, neutral air. Jen looking really good at the start of this game. Now you'll notice that he's bringing out the explosive flames like that because he's trying to force out the double jump from Venia. Yeah, if you can get the double jump or the air dodge out of that, it's always helpful. But in that situation, we see it's less effective against pass fallers. You know, as a floaty it, it, working against that, your best option is just to avoid it somehow. But as Greninja, what Venya is able to do is just double jump and then land with an aerial and sometimes able to hit him out of it. Oh my lord, Jen looking for a way back to the stage. He drifted back because he knew Venya was going to be hungry. Still playing extremely patient, holding on to his double jump that entire that was, time. That was really good. I did not think he had a jump. And he gets the first stock with the up air right there. Great stuff from Jen. Trying to hold on to the winner's bracket side here. Okay, teleports back to the medium stage. Rapid Jab's gonna send him off again. See if Jen can try to attack on as much damage as he can, but he tacked on zero! 
It's Is gone! It an even game. Two stocks apiece right here on Smashville. It's that down tilt again. Fenia playing, spacing his attacks extremely well. Knows him drifting back with those forward airs, so it literally hits the tipper. So it's for extra, it's hard for Jen to try to get a punish on that. Right, we saw him start to parry those a lot in the end of the last set. Uh, I'd like to see him go for the, those again if he can, because he was able to get some punishes on it. Not significant, but, you know, a forward tilt, a grab. Just able to make Ven, uh, make Venya think a lot before he throws out something on the shield. And those aerials are all so safe on shield if you're not able to parry them. Okay. Venya trying to play safe. Chilling back, throwing out shurikens. I think this is Venya changing the tempo of the game. This for is sure, this is rare for him. He talked about it like a, about a year ago where he started to do it for the first time because he's always been like the aggro Greninja. For but sure. It, but he's learned how to like go off and on. And it can like actually mess with people. But Jen's going to capitalize on it. Hold on a second. That was a great conversion right there from Jen. Punish? I think he can up smash that. Doesn't but he matter. goes with a down throw back air and that is going to take the stock. So Jen with the lead here in game two. Literally picking his poison. Yeah. Palu down those setups. Not a lot of true confirms all the time, but some really effective 50-50s. Yep. What is true is those three neutral airs into forward air. For sure. That yeah, is that is guaranteed. Low percent. Like, you're just going to go for a ride. Ooh, with the, just in case if anyone wanted to get yeah. antsy and go for an immediate double jump, like, there was a spike with his name on it. I like that because there was no risk to it. He did it early enough that it, it covered something, but there was no risk, and he was able to get back in ledge trap early enough without giving up stage control. Ooh. Down's all fair. Not going to kill all the way across stage yet, though. And an early warp, I like that. Not gonna mess around yeah. with getting upbeat or you know, getting back aired out in the blast zone, getting it, shadow sneak just we've seen Venya go for. It messed up Venya's timing. Oh. oh, he's dead. Oh, he uh, that was a good evasion, not gonna lie. Yeah, Jen tried. almost caught the ledge. I, I, like, I like it, it was worth a shot. I respect the attempt. Now this is an interesting situation right here because we've seen how quickly Venya can delete a stock, but Jen is pretty firmly in control and he's been playing very well this whole game. Neutral good air. air shield. And that's something really important against Greninja. Against a character like Greninja who has so many safe aerials on shield, but no real threat of a rising aerial, uh, you really want to go for them early in their jump. If you can stuff out their jumps at the startup, you'll have a lot more success than trying to punish Shadow on. Shield. Hold on. Oh, I saw it. Did you it. see him go for Shadow Sneak oh, yeah. that deep? Just in case he wanted to end the game that early. It would have killed. It would have. That's why Jen opted to go high. That was beautiful right Down there. He's been throwing tilt. out the explosive flame, and he's seen that Venya's coming over and trying to punish with the landing aerial. So he throws it out really early that time, so that he's already out of it by the time Venya lands. He's able to low profile a hit with the down tilt. The down tilt is able to kill, and that sends us to a game three. Jen is one game away from winning. Potential final game. If uh, Venya wins this, we have a bracket reset. We have to play yet another best two of three. And if Jen wins, that's just the tournament. And by the way, a lot of people ask why we don't do best three of five in finals. It's because it's almost we, we want to go home. <laughs> we want to, we, 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 we work. <laughs> we have to wake up in the morning. Go! Town and city, here we go. <laughs> uh, Jen versus Greninja. Venya versus Palu. Who will rise on top? Okay, gonna avoid those uh, little mini shurikens. No one really wants to make that first move just yet, trying to like play as safe as possible, but Venya's getting in there, slide in with those dash attacks. Getting them DMs. Okay, grab. Toxin drags him down, oh. try to read the getup. Jab's the wrong way right there. That could have been a jab lock setup again. Good punish from Jen right there. Ooh, the high up air, not quite gonna kill, but a lot of damage. Yeah, Jen loves going for those dash attacks, man. It's got a little bit of, like, a block on it, too, because it is, it is uh, your shield. The shield is invincible on dash attack and back air. If you hit any part of it, uh, you will lose. Good warp cancel. Get back to stage right there. Those are very easy to space when you're just in neutral and just moving around. Very hard to space coming out of disadvantage. You knows that Jen is that turning beautiful. up the heat because he knew that Venia was out of jumps. And he, he was playing he, so aggressive. And he read that he wasn't going to side B. Because early he was early on he was respecting the side B a lot. He was shielding at ledge and letting Venya get back for free with the up B. Now he, he called out that Venya was not going to shadow sneak to ledge. And instead, he just goes for the down tilt to, to two frame. I like that warp. Get yeah, down there, just get out of the way. And that, that platform was going bye-bye, so he had to jump out of there right there. Here we go, down air. Ooh, down air. I like that. Really good option select right there. Auto reticle? I, I mean, I guess. It covers some things. It's a good move now. I've never seen a Palu do auto reticle in disadvantage state, but okay. It's a real thing you can do now in this game. I've seen Jen use it once in a while. Um, you know, it was not an option in Smash 4, really. Oh. Up till, I mean, Palu wasn't right an there. option in Smash 4, but. I know, I know. 
Back throw, <laughs> get him out of here. Oh, we live in still. Reflects the shuriken right back out. He's, she's having none of that. Yeah. Paolo's having none of that in Sass, but she'll, she'll have to take that. will eventually kill, but a 65% lead. Pretty good lead for Jen here as he looks to win Zeno for the first time in Ultimate. Of course, would not be his first time ever. He did win in Smash 4 a couple times. He's saying at 65%, gets knocked away. And I think we've seen him like anti-air a bit more. He's he's jumping up and neutral airing, or he's up tilting before Venya can land with an aerial. Good tech right there. And that has led to a lot more success as Venya just sneaks under that down tilt right there. Down Ooh, the smash. high recovery and the down smash covers it. He Jen read not even able warp. to get to the far side. He read that warp so hard and now he's taking the stock lead. Let's see if Jen can try to close this out as soon as possible. We're about to see a bracket reset. Playing the evasion game. Definitely wants that grab. Trying to play pressure with that back here. Getting some of that shield. Back air just catches the jump. Go Jen getting caught off stage. Venny is looking to close it out. And at this point, uh, the damage is really starting to build up to the point where even if Jen takes the stock, he's at a significant disadvantage. Back air almost killing there. He threw out that explosive flame, forcing Venny to back away. Oh, and he nasty. misses the warp. I'd really like to see Jen go for Nair on the falling down aerial right there. He was going for a back air stage spike. We've seen him go for spikes as well with down air. Uh, neutral air covers so many options if they're straight below the stage like that. And Venya would have to go all the way around, you know, right, like upright and then up left to get back, which he might have been too low to do. Uh, so I, I would really like to see more Nair off stage. Uh, it also is more consistent in letting you recover. Uh, you don't SD as often if you go for that in the same way. So we're getting a reset here. So welcome to True Finals. This is Venya against Jen. I'm Zyvon. This is Osti. It's almost 1 a.m. So, we got one more set for true you. True finals. My word. I always like saying that. It's like the real boss. This is the first bracket reset we've had in Smash Ultimate. Really? You know? Yeah. We, I don't think cool. we've ever had one. This should be exciting. Wait, no. I think John upset. Uh, reset the bracket against Sinji. So remember, I was really mad about that. Anyways, uh, <laughs> here we go. 76% on Jen. Great parry coming out from Jen. Not getting too much off of it, though. Oh, that was interesting. Not usually see it, used to seeing something trade with Palu Dash Attack. And you'll notice that Jen likes to like jump onto that platform and dash through it to avoid that shuriken on the main stage. Neutral air cannot confirm into an up smash. Again, Look Jen going for the back air there in a situation where Nair, I think, would have covered a lot of options. Back air would beat out specifically placed hitboxes, but he loses uh, loses because he was not able to catch Venya out of his jump first there. Every single time, and Venya does a first stock. Every single time uh, Venya does a Hydro Pump off stage, he's doing it to try to mess up with the opponent's recoveries. You notice that Jen was trying to go for that double jump, and the second he did it, he went up way too high. He set up perfectly where he had no choice but to go for an air dodge because he, he didn't have his jump. So Venya really smart with those uh, up B placements. Okay. Back air catches the ledge option. Explosive Flame forcing him to recover high, and he Ooh. whiffs the forward tilt. Didn't expect him to fly that far. Slippery Frog. Mm -hmm. Down tilt. Catches catch. the double jump. He didn't have a double jump there. Yeah. I like the decision to immediately warp, not get edge guarded. He still takes a punish, but doesn't die to it yet. Warps back to stage. Again, we see the dash attack trade. I'm not sure how that works. And the down tilt up smash is going to take it. Venya up two stocks here in game one of True Finals. Jen is losing steam. Like, he was in so total control this entire tournament until grand finals. And now Venya has found his mojo and is working it. And Venya is looking dominant right now. See if you can get the kill off of this. Ford air, not quite going to take it. And Explosive Flame yeah. catches the side B. So good catch right there from Jen, but still down an entire stock here in game one. Yeah, one to two stocks. Like, Jen needs a power play or a miracle at this point. Take away this game. You know, if he can hit one of those spikes, it is possible. Palutena does have the ability to take quick stocks sometimes, but we went for it right there. I like that play. Almost caught the uh, the shuriken throw right there, but Venya delays in the air a little when he tosses the shuriken. I'm using Venya and Greninja interchangeably. I, I think they're that's the pretty same. Clear. It's the same thing. Uh, <laughs> Neutral air. Double nair. I've seen that in general when he gets the double nair. He's usually not able to combo out of the second one. Oh, that was very good right there. Oh, uh, he did not jab. want the punish. That was unfortunate. That, yeah, he finished. That the could jab. have been a forward smash or a down smash. I don't know how to miss. But that will not miss right there, the down tilt up smash. And that is a two stock 
for Venya. But last set, we saw Venya get her two stocks and then lose game two. So either he could run away with this and win it, you know, 2-0 in a quick set, or we'll see a very close set like last time. Will Jen bring it back? That is the question. Because the did thing a few is, minutes ago. I I hundred percent believe it is. Cap uh, Jen has the capability to oh, bring this the back. Wario. Uh, and, oh, I like this. Wait. So apparently he went uh, like some Palu, some Wario at a tournament uh, last week and did really well. Won a tournament uh, somewhere else in New York. Um, and he's been working on Wario. He played Wario earlier in early rounds of bracket today. These kids are just so he is switching inspired. around to the Wario here. You They're know, just... Wario has won two majors. Yes, they're just so. I can't believe I'm saying that, but I love that I'm saying that. All right, here we go. Smashville, game number one. I'm surprised he doesn't want a bigger stage with Wario, but um, he's gonna be going for Smashville here. Wario is definitely improved in close quarters combat, but I think he still likes having the ability to platform camp when he has to. Good read right there. That neutral air is active for so long now because they, they realized how much of a problem the hitbox was in Smash 4, so they made it, made it work now. There he goes, goes for the back air off of the ledge. Down tilt to wow. just nick that recovery. Now, this is the thing, like, I don't know if Venya has Wario matchup experience in this game. I don't know who he could have played. There's not a lot of them. The ones that there are are doing very well. So I, I like the idea from Jen. And it's, it looks like it's working out pretty well so far. He looks very comfortable. I like the down air right there. That will kill. Uh, it sends to whatever side you're on. So it'll stage spike or it'll just kill off the side. Uh, it's pretty strong. Yeah. Pretty big hitbox. Beats out a lot of recovery. Certainly Greninja's with no hitbox on top of it. That was beautiful Ooh. right there. Falls out of the down air, though. Unfortunate for uh, Jen right there. At this point, you know... Lives the down tilt forward air, though. Doesn't connect. Jen's going to be looking for those forward tilts. A little booty smack. Try to, like, send him flying, but... Catches the up air. Looking for the down air. Not going to be able to down air through. And Venya will take the first stock. Uh, full wall to be on in about 12 seconds. This is one of those things where it's like when you play multiple characters, it, it can be like, are you making the right choice counterpicking? You don't want to second guess yourself. Sure. You just want to like go with it. And this is something that Jen needs to just believe that his Wario can actually do this. But I think that's also an important thing in Ultimate is there's so many characters now that I think it's important. You know, I think it's not necessarily important that you have to have an extra character. But I think it is beneficial in a lot more situations than it ever has been before. Now, here is the reason why players have been playing Wario. It's because of the Waft. You see him glowing yellow, that means his Waft is fully charged. If he gets one read, one little slip up, you're done for. This, that can be a tech chase, it can be an up tilt even. I believe up tilt just combos into it. I know it combos into half Waft. I don't know about full Waft on every situation yet. Okay, gonna get but back to the stage. He's got confirms into it for sure. He's also got uh, you know, the ability to tech chase at any point in time. You just immediately hit a waft. And at this point, Jen's probably just going to hold on to it for the next stock because he's already got Venny at 63. You want to save that for when you get a kill at like 40. But it does. The thing is, if you do use it here. Oh, we do it for it. Oh, we went for it. So we lost it there. So we used it just before 420 on the clock uh, remaining. Uh, half waft will recharge in 55 seconds. Full waft in a minute 50. Uh, half waft probably better than full waft in most respects. It is obviously a little bit weaker. Um, but it, it is faster and combos out of more things. Uh, so that'll probably charge up before this game ends, unless it ends very quickly. Trying to get that roll a little bit too soon Not with that kill. back air. You notice he double jumps to escape the follow-up. Got herself a little moment there to get everyone back to away from the stage. Within and a four air will kill. Uh, and Jan, oh, not staying on the platform the whole time. If you're playing Wario, always stay on the platform the whole time. Charge is waft. So now we got Venia sitting at two stocks. 100%, looking for the smack. Jen is not far behind, though. And Wario with a great comeback factor with the waft. Half waft is already almost back online. We'll be on in a few seconds. Dash attack to push him off. And dash attack at this point could be could potentially kill. Then you're looking to try to combo him. And the slap right there. A booty smack, there it is. Jen bringing this to last stock at least here. This is a very close game here. Game number two. Denia looking for this opening, throwing out a bunch of neutral airs to try to get this combo started against Wario, but he's not really having luck. And the longer this match goes on, the more beneficial it's going to be towards Jen. Absolutely. Wario, a character that benefits from the clock running. Regardless of whether he's in the league or not, in the lead or not, just if the clock is running and Wario does not yet have full waft charged, he is getting some sort of benefit from it. Uh, full waft will be on in about 15 seconds or so. Uh, you'll see him start glowing there. He already has half waft, which will kill in the relatively near future if he gets it near the edge of the stage. Ooh, okay, Wario good bike. height on the bike right there. Just to get back to center stage. Not worth eating the bike right there, though. 
Uh, you want to eat the bike sometimes just to get rid of it so you have a recovery sooner. Go ahead and start off that bike cooldown, which they made a lot longer in this game. Um, oh, he's got full waft right there. He's looking for it. Oh, that was a roll. He could have done it. Didn't feel it in his bones. 122%. Jen, looking for it. Got the oh, waft we and he it. whiffs it. That Benio could, rolls out of the way. That spell that the we'll entire take it. tournament right there. The second he whiffed that fart, like that was pretty much Venia's tournament. So there we go. Venio, that will do it. Venia winning his second Zeno in a row, making the comeback towards Ooh, Venia. so close. First off of Zeno, and then at Let's Make Moves. Finally gets the win against Jen, forcing the counter pick and even beat the counter pick. Yeah, took down the Wario. The Wario looking really good. Uh, just losing out on that last interaction right there. Uh, but good to see Jen making such a great run today. He's been so solid these last couple weeks early on in this game uh, with the top eight at Let's Make Moves. And then, of course, second place today. Great showing. But Venya, back-to-back Xeno -back champion. First oh, one of Ultimate. Big Tofu. Thanks for that sub. But, guys, it's been fun. But we're not going to go away just yet because we're going to get an interview with Venya. So, once again, uh, this is Zyvon. My name's Austi. But we'll be Follow right us on Twitter. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.